Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Spectacle Island. How y'all doing today folks? Y'all doing alright? I'm doing good. I'm just filling our truck up with diesel fuel and looks like our dash's going to be alright. But uh, we, we got a couple things we got to do with this truck. We got a contract as you can see some pallets sitting right here. We uh, offloaded them. 588 diesel fuel costs. As you can see, we're up to one million and eighty-nine dollars. I'm just about to start the truck, and um, I think we need some sellage bales. I know we need hay bales. I'm gonna go get them first. Um, probably need one or two sellage bales in there. We're good on straw. Um, yeah, we just got to. Today is all oh, tractors in the way. Today is going to be kind of a, of a maintenance day. We're not going to be doing very much because our, well, one, as you can see here, we're still in the same day, but I got a couple contracts I need to get done. So it might be, you know, one of those episodes where we go into two days. As you can see, uh, today's good. Wednesday evening, we got rain again. Um, cows are done. Well, these are pigs. Uh, we're up to 40 pigs now. Um, no straw because we're going to get slurry. and Which we got 607 liters of slurry. Uh, sheep's doing good. Chickens. It looked like we had two chickens. I think that was... Or was that 60? Oh, it was 65 because we had 70 and we lost a couple of them. Uh, golds uh, uh, look like it made a bar because it was higher than that last episode I think and the cows are doing good they're doing really good um, still we we need some cows up. let me get to the tractor store and get out of the way instead of running my mouth but I hope y'all are doing real good folks um, tell you what I think this is November the oh, ran into the brick wall Mr. Blue can't drive and talk. I think this is going to be an episode that runs up on uh, November the 3rd. So you know what that means? FS22 won't be long, folks. But Mr. Blue, what is your game plan? Are you still going to do FS19? Yes, folks, I still want to do... Uh-oh. I still want to do uh, some games in FS19, but I also want to do the... The 22. Let's see. I gotta unload it all. I need to put two square bales. There we go. Now I can hit auto load. I want to try to get the ones on the edge here instead of getting the whole pile. Uh, where did that come from? Oh, no, 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 no. Man, turn auto load off. Um, B on this side hopefully look oh they're going to unload there that'll work you know what best way to do this is by hand so turn on auto load i'm gonna go in here and show off my muscles to all the ladies and uh throw some bales ha. oh what ladies miss blue don't have a lady friend or well I had a couple of lady friends, friends, but not one other one in particular. All right, uh, three bales. That's four, eight, twelve. Oh, I'm about to start getting them off of here. Let's see, twelve. That'll be sixteen, twenty. 24 and 28. That's probably going to be too much. Alright. Go put these in the TMR mixer. And we got a truck right here. As you can see in the pit there. We have to uh, dump in our silo. That's uh, all the silage out of that pit. So we're getting it ready. Trying to use a controller to dump. 
I think I should have got them a little bit closer. Using my muscles again. There we go. Hear it start up. Actually, I think I should have got a couple more. No, nope, that's right. 2,000 liters from being full. Uh, a little over, or a little under 6,000. And we might need some uh, of that, but we're going to wait on that. We'll quit throwing the truck. Alright, back to uh, pallet missions. Let's see, or pallet contracts, whatever they're called. Z mission pallets. There we go. Yo. Alright, heck, you again so we don't pick up nothing on accident. And we are, we got this in complete. But I think we're using his planner, so I'm not going to. Oh no, we're using ours. Right, well, I'm going to wait on that. We are going to see. We need to go windmill. And then we're going to take that to the bakery. And then we're going to go to small work village. Or garage. So, windmill is. Oh, look at that. It's already on. Windmill pickup. Good. Alright. Be right back. I don't know why I said that. I just go in here. Truck's leaving. But we got the, the sullage pit emptied, so it's ready for grass mowing come spring. Um, so we just got to put this in there. I actually should have put some into the, the TMR mixer, but it's all right. We can dump this in there and then just get a load out and do it that way. Hope this works right. Oh, look at her, right straight back in there. This trailer don't tilt. It gets uh, fed out the back. Not too much animation to it, but it's a belt thing there. It just falls down in the center onto the belt and goes out the back. And while that's doing that, let's go in here and go over to Sullage. Um, 219,715 liters right here, folks. And as you can see, biogas plant is the highest at dollar fifty per thousand. So we're not really going to sell none of that. Uh, and this is TMR. That's how much we have in here: two hundred sixty-one thousand. And what was the other thing? I was going to look at the washed potatoes. I think this is washed potatoes, and I think this is premium potatoes. And as you can see, you know, that's the price they're going for. Four twenty two every thousand. Which is uh, a lot better than these prices. And if you go over here to a regular potato, right here, you can see these prices ain't very high. Two fifty four. So we'll be getting double and plus we can get some uh, pig food out of those potatoes also. Right, I'm just going to park this back in the pit. That way it'll be out of the way. Nobody hitting it. And now we'll be right back. Alright, I think I went over some of this in the last episode. I can't remember exactly what I did. We're going to turn this belt that's already on. We're going to turn it on. And then we're going to turn the belt on. Take some potatoes up. And two. Oh. All the sheds blocking me. But as you can see, this is full. It runs through here. Actually, that's not full. I think it's out of water. Oh. No, everything is full. Okay. Well, it, it gets full. And it comes out to here. It gets on this and here. Which I need to jump in here. Do the same thing. Start the motor. Turn the belt on. And it won't move right now. Oh, I forgot. This is the last belt. We zoom out. And Dagwin was using something like this. And Big Daddy was also telling me something about he couldn't get the potatoes come out on one he used. But I think it said it was a different map. But I always want to do this. I've seen everybody setting them up different. What I did, this is where you get the pig food out. 
Now I'll show you right here. Um, it looks like this is the washed potatoes and this is the premium potatoes and here we have pig food. Uh, we don't have enough to get a we can't now we don't have enough for a pallet right now so yeah we don't have enough on that but as you can see here this little square is facing this way and I turn it around and face this little square this way and this square is this way but it's on the opposite side as you can see and then I've done this side over here it's on the opposite side hopefully giving them enough room that don't have enough for potato um, bleh, for pig food oh man so I'm going to unload these in order to get some uh, pig foods now but let me show you this um turn on no, everything's going. Everything's on this one. So what I do, you can just do like that. And as you can see, it starts moving. Dumping it in there. Would help if I zoom out a little bit more with the belt. And then I just drive, or steer back over this way. Boom out. Fills it up. Get my camera out. And I can do the same, zoom all the way out. And you're probably like, well, it's not working in that. Well, all the way out. Yep, I'm all the way out. Um, there we go. Just got to hit the sweet side. See, that one came on. That one is working. And I can do the same over here. And don't worry, uh, Mr. Big Daddy. I have plenty of potatoes for the update and uh, we was talking about that um, well by the time this comes out it's gonna be about a week probably I usually just go like this get my def set and then I go this way to get my um, my steering port set I think that is completely full but anyway that's the concept of it and I usually just zoom my belt back in. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know why that hadn't stopped. You gotta hit uh, refill. That's why I wouldn't do it. Every now and then when that belt gets empty, you have to hit the left stick down for it to refill the belt. It's not automatic. So, but yeah, that's this little setup and me and uh, Big Daddy was talking about the update. Yeah, see, now this thing's working. There's not an update to this thing that I, I don't know of, but there's an update to this thing. Um, what I could remember is that there, instead you have to dump into a uh, bucket or something, they come out into sacks of potatoes that's already ready to send to the store so I am going to put down a couple of those and might as well try it now because um, I think it's going to be in global company I think oh yeah it did work uh, what I had to do there was same name on the sorters potato sorters so I had to I just put like on the file, the folder, I just p typed in new right after everything that was in there. You know, it said uh, something other potato sorter. Right, right after potato sorter, you, you click right there and you just put like new or or update or, or whatever you want to put. And that way when you put it in your mods folder, it won't replace this one. Because if you just throw the file in there, it's going to say, uh, do you want to update the folder? And it's going to replace the old one with the new one. Now, if you want to keep both, you have to change the name on your mod folder. But let's, uh, all right, I hope y'all didn't see that. I'm going to try to remember to cut that out, but y'all don't need to see that project yet. And also, uh, Big Daddy um, and Mr. Alien Jim. 
Um, I don't know if y'all know about this. I, I don't know if it's one of my mods or what. But anything over on this side, I can't place nothing. If I come here, I can. But if I get... I can get right there. But if I go... Well, if I go right there, back to here, I can't place nothing. And as you can see, over to here... I don't know if there's something around the edge or something won't let me place it or what, but I can't place no place bulbs back that way. But over here, I can. So I don't know if y'all knew about that or not. So, um, as I say, it won't. I can do it right there. Can I, can I place this there? Um, I think I might need to do it over here. Um... It looks like I might. Yeah, I'm going to give this quite a bit of room. And I should be able to reach it. Probably about right here. I'm going to get a little closer. Maybe here. And I'm going to place another one. What? Watch out, be too far out. The auger won't reach. Place another one here. Alright, there they are. I don't know what goes there. But as you can see, there's a sack. There's one half full. There's that. And, and uh, yeah. Let's fill it up. What are we waiting for? Y'all going to have to stay on me. I, I gotta stay busy. Whoa. Kind of zoom in so we can see it. Uh oh. Oh wow, this one works fast. Uh, back this away. Zoom the belt out. Please reach. If it don't, all I gotta do is fold. Bring the belt back in. All right, there. That right, should be full. Okay. Shut that belt off. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me. Oh, I would. Turn this a little bit so I can get out. There we go. I'll get a bag of pig food. Which is only 26 liters in it right now. And this is premium potatoes. With 306. Ah, it's got the icon. Good, 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 good. It's got the icon down there, folks. And that's the potato with the with the uh, the star or whatever hashtag or well, not hashtag but yeah star it's just so so that is the premium potatoes right now I'm gonna say the prices are low I don't know I doubt this will tell us uh, I passed it. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be the highest time. So we'll hang on to these premium potatoes and fall, winter, spring. First of spring, what it looks like. And also, I done told y'all, when we get past the ninth day of, of uh, fall, when we go into winter, I'm cutting the days down to six days. And what I'm talking about is... I think it's this one. You can go in here. See, seasons length nine days. I'm gonna turn that to six. Cause nine days is it's a long time. It is a long time. So you're looking at three, six, nine. So we got three, four, four and a half days, or basically about five days. 
it's 10 o'clock in the morning so but anyway I'm gonna let these guys work we need to bring I need to buy a trailer um, I guess we can wash the other trailer out and we have to get some, a front end loader or something to empty these out because as you can see that is full of premium potatoes so we gotta find a way to empty these. Let me see if I can do that and I'll bring you up right back. Alright, sorry folks, I forgot about the uh, transport missions. We're gonna get this. This is the windmill. We're picking these pallets up. And uh, we're gonna drop them off at bakery and then we're gonna take the brown ones on to the small engine workshop. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just dropped them off. Or fortunately I have to drop all of them. But you just back up. So you load your ones you need and then you just hit U again to, on the keyboard to turn it back off. And voila, you just transport it to that. So now we gotta go to, let's see here, it's Small Engine Works, which is over here by Petro One this time. So I will be setting this to, uh, oh, right here, Petro One. And all right, and uh, while that's going, oh, no, 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 go this other way. All right, there you go. All right, I want to show y'all something. I'm going to go with my drone, get my drone out here and uh, turn on the camera and everything. And uh, kind of give you an idea. This is real. Oh, where are you going now? All right, let me deal with him. All right, I'm just going to hit Y because I've already done all the other steps and that one's done. All right, I'm going to shut it off right here. We're going to go into here and we are going to finalize the transport company and the windmill. And we're going to go check on these and get these two out of the way. All right, we are in uh, field 15. We are planting wheat. Uh, it's got the herbicide tank on the front for weight. The little thing gets heavy when you get it loaded. Only thing about, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Only thing about stopping recording, like say last episode, I, I, after I recorded it, I done some work off screen, like skipping the rows or throughs, I should say. And uh, you come back the next time you get ready to record, and your GPS is resetted. You know, what, what I mean, like that, it's just the the white line, and it's not yellow line. There's nothing, ain't nothing set up, and you have to reset that up. And sometimes you get streaks like that there when you go back doing your throughs. So that's what I hate about GPS. I wish it would actually keep the memory all the time of your vehicles and your implements like it does in real life. So maybe in FS22, somebody can come up with that. Like I said, you was pulling a disc. As long as you keep that disc and not sell it, it will remember the measurements of your disc. So you won't have streaks like that there. Yeah, that's going to be nasty going across here. Actually, it looks like I could move my GPS over some. And it might stop that. Because uh, as you can see right there, I am need to go like right there. But yeah, I should be, I uh, shouldn't have too much more of this left. 78%. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, and so all we got left is finalizing this one. And it shouldn't be but a second here. And then uh, when I get this done, we're going to try to find uh, the front loader on my tractor. And that's, uh, we was doing the sillage hauling in should work to load that truck hopefully so well let me hurry up and finish this it should be 
should be showing up here any minute now. And I hate to take a loan out at this time of the year, but I want to talk about that too real quick. 95%. I'm going to have to do next through. Uh, I want to take a loan out because I want to buy some land. Um, the bridge work and stuff is coming well good. I don't need to... Oh, we're done. I don't need to buy the extra land because of the putting the bridges down. But that's going to be in the next episode when I show y'all that. And by then, I can probably figure out how to tell y'all how I've done it. So, yeah. Um, go in here. We're going to uh, collect that. And that brings us to 1,116,483. And this... I hit the right one. Land costs 1.7 almost. And uh, let's get to this. All this island right here is ours, except for the outskirts. And as you can see right here, what I mean by that is like this land here that's not highlighted in green. These roads here and stuff. And some down here. So if there's a house that's sitting right here, I believe. No, it's right here, I think, by the horse pasture. So if I click that, you can see all this in the blue. I scroll out. Not counting this blue, because that's the water. But the blue around the edges here. You can see all that. So I'll be on a piece of every island when I do this. But it's mainly just going to be the roads and the outskirts of the uh, beach and stuff. Except for here, then I'm going to own a pretty good amount. But as you can see, it's... 1.661 and I have 1.116 so uh, this is roughly about 500,000 so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to burrow till we get to 1, 1 or 1.6 or 1.7 million yeah it's a lot of a lot of typing so hang on a second All right, that was $600,000 loan. Almost as much as we got last time. Wow. But now, as you can see, we got enough to uh, 1.6. I could probably put some of that back. But you know what? We got it now. And I think it will help us with uh, some jobs around town here. Maybe uh, we can do some tree work and stuff like that. We're going to buy it. And now we are flat busted broke but we got a lot more ground 55,000 to my name hmm you know what folks I'm buying granny's cabin back yes we have granny's island back and as you can see we own all this all this island all of this island now and we're starting on these others folks I'm going to run this series until we get every single piece of land. And probably just a little bit more after that. Because I like Spectacle Island. I really do. That's a good map. Uh, tell you one thing I like about it. And Big Daddy and Alien Jim. I want to thank you both. Well, Big Daddy for for uh, communicating with uh, Mr. Jim for me and stuff. And if you don't mind, uh, or if he's watching... One thing I love the most that map makers do is let you buy every piece of the land. I, as my opinion now, there's a lot of map makers, modders out there on maps. If you look real close, you can see this line, this gray line is in part of one of these fields, like here. There's not a area one that you can't edit. All it's edible, e e edible, not eatable, but you can edit. You you can customize the land and stuff and and the terrain. I love that. Like like for for a good example, like these roads right here. A lot of map makers don't include that in the buyable land 
and you won't be able to customize it like you're going to see in the next episode probably uh, the, we're going to finish this road and also here uh, y'all probably see some things I'm going to go ahead and I can't do it in this mode uh, let's go to horse pasture and visit and yeah we'll probably be getting some horses here pretty soon too but uh yeah uh, I had them take the telephone poles out and we're going to go in here and we're going to edit this train here where it'll be flat we're going to put some things down here there are some placeables and I, I think the community of Spectacle Island which Big Daddy and Mr. Jim um, will probably like and I know the forestry will probably like it because they'll be putting back um, into the community and stuff so those things are coming up um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the dirt work and these guys are getting close to my soybeans but they are doing an excellent job y'all probably like what in the world well I told y'all I was going to level these fields out uh, I think they went too deep but this, this uh, field four is leveled all the way across. You know how it was lower. I brought it up. They smoothed all the dirt over here. And then took some for the bridges. And then uh, since I own this ground now, I will be coming in here and cutting these trees. I'll be coming in here demolishing this, this house that's not fixable. And uh, yeah, all these trees right here is going to come out. Most of this is going to go into farmland. And uh, we'll put a couple trees back, like maybe apple trees or something like that, or cherries or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the horses going. Uh, probably about 10 or so episodes down the line. But we, we're going to keep working on this map. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that too <laughs> mainly because my new computer well not it's a $600 computer from Walmart that I bought it's got a uh, what was it 1690 super I'll, I'll try to get the specs in the next video but I'm not too good on them now Big Daddy uh, Alien Jim y'all yeah, help me out um, is there a way is there a trigger well we can uh, since I own this place now is there a trigger somewhere to make this house look pretty like uh, well you know what I mean uh, anybody in the toilet gotta go is there a back door there is not a back door but what I'm trying to say is I would love to uh, do like we did on our other farm. Cut some trees down or something. Hit a tr uh, trigger somewhere where all the scaffolding and stuff will go bye-bye. And this looks like a pretty house. Is there such a thing? I'm pretty sure there is. I just uh, don't know where it's at. Or point me to a video like say if Dagrin found it and and I'll, I'll watch his video or, or Mr. Jim or uh, Mr. Big Daddy just uh, help me out where's the trigger at I'm probably missing it trying to watch where I'm going and and stuff um, yeah like clean up this mess Is there a tree somewhere There'd gotta be something I can cut to make that go go away these open no nope. nope they don't open well, we do have a little bit more storage um is this I don't think this tree because it don't have a line on it I don't see nothing else check this tree out real quick does it have a red line on it um nope don't see a red line 
And some of these, uh, in case y'all new to this map, there'll be a red line around it. And you can cut that tree and that cleans up the yard in a certain area. But I don't see a marker. So, uh, yeah. Big Daddy. Help, please. But yeah, I love getting some horses out here. Even though I'm playing on seasons, it won't be like, uh, uh, cause if, if you're not using seasons, you make a lot of money off of horses, but I've never played seasons and do horses too. So it's going to be interesting. Wait, what? Oh, oh, open animal. Yeah, there's our horses that we can get. I'm not going to get them now. Up to 16. Okay. We're going to get some more money. Got to get more hay. So we got to get established. But yeah, folks. Uh, we'll do the potato sorters in the next video. Because I'm already 36 minutes in. 37. Um, but yeah. Uh, I just wanted to actually show you this for sure um as you can see right here there's still a hill if you look out across where that ship's at you can see how it gets a little bit lower i'm going to taper it down from there down to there and it'll gradually go up and this will be a hill here, but we're going to take this back some more. Probably going to smooth it the uh, best we can. And, and might be a hillside for mowing grass, but we're going to take it back a little bit, slant it down some, and y'all should like it. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just waiting for our soybeans to, so we can get this finished up. Uh, but we did accomplish the uh, mango. We own all this island now, so we can kind of do what we want with it. <laughs> but anyway, folks, uh, big shout out to... Uh, I'm going to try to make sure I put plaque cards, or not plaque cards, but screenshots of their channel in here. But big shout out to Big Daddy, Alien Jim, for a wonderful map. I do like to to take a chance uh, not take a chance but I think it's no man's land and there's another one uh, but no man's land I would love to do a live stream of that map just about three or four hours to start from nothing and see how far we can go in four hours or something something that I'm kind of working on so uh, hopefully it works out Gotta do some reading on my live stream. Make sure I know what I'm doing and stuff. But folks, I appreciate y'all watching. I, I'm just so amazed. I got some new subscribers. So you know who you are. And thank you for joining my family. Your, your family here and not no sub. We, I don't believe in the word sub. Y'all are family members. That's the way it should be. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. And uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors, you're right. I never would have got this out to the field if it wasn't for that trailer. This thing is huge. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of y'all I need to give a shout outs to. But like I said, my memory is short. I just, my memory is short, folks. I, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Sandra, Christy, Dan, Mr. Yankee, Colin, all them are ones that, and Anna, uh, and there's a couple others that watches my channel regardless of, of uh, you know, regardless of what it is, they watch my channel. So, uh, yeah, shoot me a comment and I'll watch y'all's channel. That's the way I usually do it. Folks, I'm just rambling now, it seems like. I'm trying to think of things to say. So I'm going to get off here and uh, get started on uh, moving some dirt and stuff off screen. So y'all have a great day. A blessed day. 
Man, these machines are dirty. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later. <laughs> <laughs>